Hey everyone, I'm James, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the look of the brand Amelion Dor, but for a lot, lot cheaper. For those of you who don't know, Amelion Dor is a clothing brand out of New York, and I never know if I'm pronouncing that name correctly, so I'm just going to refer to them as ALD. Their style is a sort of mashup between 90s classics and luxury. They've been around for a while, but I think they've really come into the spotlight recently because of their collaborations with New Balance. The 550s in particular were really successful. I think most of ALD's pieces are made in New York, which is absolutely amazing, but unfortunately it does contribute to its really high price. Price tag. And so that's why in today's video I'm going to show you how to get that look but for much cheaper. I've picked two of my favourite looks out of their Spring Summer 2022 lookbook. My aim isn't to completely copy them but my aim is to heavily draw from their influence in order to build today's looks. For reference, I'm around 5 foot 10 and 140 pounds. If I don't say what size I'm wearing of each piece, I will mention it down in the description. And since this is an ALD video, I will be wearing my New Balance 991s for both fits. I'll leave links to those and everything else I'm wearing down in the description. So this first look that caught my eye is this shorts and cardigan combination. Not something you typically see in summer because cardigans are more of a spring or even autumn winter piece. But I really like this because it gives you that versatility depending on what the weather's doing. I really like the colour blocking of the polo and the cardigan as well, and then the little subtle hints of green from the cap and the shorts. So like I said, I haven't gone out to completely one for one copy these looks, but they are heavily influencing my outfit. So on top, the cap is probably one of the most standout pieces, even though it's probably one of the most common. Obviously the one in the ALD fit is an ALD collaboration, but you can really pick these New York caps up for a lot, lot cheaper. They're just regular new era caps and you can pick them up in a lot of places, even Amazon. So the one I went for is a bit more of an earthy green and it's also color blocked as well. So the New York isn't contrasted like in the ALD fit. For the top I went for this meshed polo from River Island. In terms of practicality I actually think the polo I've got is way better because the ALD one is a terry knit so I actually think you're going to get really easily overheated in that whereas this one I've got from River Island has mesh all over it so it's really nice and cool even in the hotter weather. I got it in this sort of camel colour. I tried popping the collar like he is in the lookbook but I just couldn't quite get the same look. It was either pop it all the way up or keep it down and I thought down looked a little better. So for the cardigan, in the ALD fit, it's obviously made to match the polo exactly because it's exactly the same colour and it's made of the same terry knit. I didn't really want to match my meshed polo with a meshed cardigan, so I went for a regular solid brown cardigan and again, this was from River Island. It's in a darker brown and it's actually a really nice quality feeling piece. I really liked the fit on it too. The body was quite nice and loose, but the arms were a little bit tighter so you could roll them up. For the shorts, he's got these really nice green and white shorts which sit just above the knee. They almost look like swim shorts but they're not because they're 100% cotton. However, the shorts I got are swim shorts. I tried a variety of different shorts but actually the swim shorts were the best in terms of fit and look I think. They are again from River Island so this is a very River Island heavy fit and they're not sponsoring this video by the way. But I actually picked the swim shorts because I really liked one, the fit and length of them. Swim shorts tend to sit above the knee. And second of all, even though they're not 100% cotton, they've got that sort of look. And also being swim shorts, they're not expensive at all. The one annoying thing about them being swim shorts is that they have that netting inside them. But if you don't intend to ever use them as swim shorts, then you can just remove that and have them as regular shorts. Then on feet, I've obviously got those New Balance 991s in the gray colorway. And then I've just got these sports stripe socks which are from H&M. Overall I think this is a really nice smart casual look and it's obviously got that versatility because you can take that cardigan on and off depending on the weather. Okay and the second look is by far my favourite so let's get into it. So to start off he's got that same New York cap on so that was easy I just used the same cap from the first fit. Now on top this green shirt is absolutely stunning. This is called their western shirt. It looks like it's made of silk because of that shininess but it's actually 90% polyester and 10% nylon. And to my surprise, this is one of the few pieces which isn't made in the USA. 
it's actually outsourced to China. The design on this shirt is great, but I had so much difficulty finding a similar shirt. I tried all the key words like Western, cowboy, bowling shirt, 70s shirt. I found a lot of shirts, but none of them had all the details that the ALD shirt has, such as the white contrast piping and the embroidered flowers. What I ended up going for was a Western style shirt from ASOS from their Reclaimed Vintage section. I'm not really sure what this section's all about because Reclaimed Vintage to me sounds like it should be unique one-off pieces but they've got this shirt in loads of different sizes. Now they call the colour grey but actually in real life it looks sort of purple to me but I thought this was a really nice similar vibe. It's got that western detailing, it's got that shiny silky look which is actually again 90% polyester just like the ALD shirt and it's got long sleeves and nice metal hardware. It actually feels like a really good quality piece. Again I tried popping the collar like he does in the lookbook but I just couldn't get it right. Underneath that shirt, it looks like he's wearing just a ribbed tank top or vest. And luckily enough, I already have one which is perfect for this. And it's my weekday ribbed vest. That is definitely my favorite one at the moment. I have it in pure white and also a sort of off-white. I went for the pure white one in this case. Now on the bottom, the thing that stands out straight away is that amazing braided or weaved belt that he's wearing. Of course, the one he's got on is gonna be super nice quality, 100% leather, but I managed to to find a very similar look and it was again from River Island. In fact from a distance or even quite up close I think you'd be hard pressed to know that this was not a ALD belt. And this is the first time I've experimented with a weaved or braided belt and I actually really like them because unlike a normal belt where you're limited to where each hole is, with the braided or weaved belts, you can put the buckle through anywhere. So I found it really easy to find a comfortable tightness. I think the only major difference is that the ALD one looks to be a lot longer. So you can sort of wrap it around itself like he has in the lookbook and have it hanging down. And for the jeans he's wearing, these are just the regular straight fit ALD jeans. For jeans like this, even if I had the money, I don't think I would bother buying them. All you need for this look is a Levi's 501. That's their classic straight fit denim. It's extremely high quality and it's very affordable. They also come in a load of colors and shades. I didn't match exactly the ALD one, but I could have if I wanted. And then on bottom, I've got those New Balance 991s. With the jeans, I did roll them up once just to get that cropped look, which I like. The ALD lookbook doesn't actually show full body shots, so we don't know what they're doing with their shoes or the bottom of their jeans. Now this second look is definitely gonna be a bit challenging to wear if you're in an extremely hot country. It's probably more for those evenings, but remember you do have that vest underneath. So if it gets really hot, you can just take the shirt off. So those are my ALD influenced looks. It was really fun to do this because I was looking for items that I don't typically look for, especially things like that Western shirt, which is something I definitely wanna bring into my rotation now. I'll definitely carry on doing this series. So let me know if there are any other brands you want me to look at. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week.